back on again. What I'm doing is doing small ones. I'm going to join them up because of the fear of the camera turning off. I've got the other camera in my bag, hopefully charging up. God, it's going to, this is going to take me weeks, you know, to sort all this out. Now, this card today on this camera, old camera, this card's um, new for today. hasn't got anything on it, apart from what's happened today. We've only a bloody deer jumped out now, isn't it? thought I heard a noise. The mystery, th the plot thickens, doesn't it? Sheila, why don't you just go up the top there like everybody else? You know? No, don't go down that way. It looks a bit too rough. I'm not going where I wanted to, either. <laughs> oh dear. Never mind. It's all part of exploring. This doesn't look like a very well used route, does it? This wasn't the plan. I thought I was going straight over to the beacon. I might pick up a path in a minute, I reckon I will. It's nice to go what's called off track. But you could class this as exploring, you know, when you've got on, you, you shouldn't be exploring now. This could be Bosington Wood, you see. I could come down in the village of Bosington and be home in seconds. Home in seconds. Who knows? I reckon I will. I reckon it. This will take me down to the water. I didn't plan this, see? Yeah, I thought I, I thought this would lead up with that one back there. It doesn't matter. Very deceiving, isn't it? I'm going to turn off for a minute. Right, I did a detour and it didn't work out. The detour up on Bosington Hill was supposed to take me over on the beacon. It hasn't. I've ended up now, after walking through some wood, I thought I was just going to go straight across the beacon, so once again I've messed up. I don't know where I am exactly, but this is such a wide track. This is either going to take me all the way back to miles away or it's going to take me to Alaford or it's going to take me to Bosington or Selworthy. I haven't got a clue. I feel I'm going to end up in Bosington Village. Which means I'm going to be home really early, and that wasn't the plan. But I don't know if I am. This is a really big avenue. I'm not going back up. Not now. But there looks like there's a track down there, look. Look. I probably need to be on that. That's the one that probably takes me back up. Shell. There might be a junction point in a minute, she'd have just wait. We've got some junction points coming up. I 
direct that track will lead you up to where you wanted to go. So it's just a slight diversion. This is, um, anyone who just ever listened to my videos probably has a good laugh, I suppose. But it's real. It's me. It's me on my walks. Someone on their own, there's no one else to sort of say, well, what do you reckon or anything. You, you've got to make decisions. M and most of the time, I even like the errors. And I'll tell you why. Because, because of the errors. Right? The errors actually... What do they do? They um, make me find new ways. Now, you get to a place like this... This is wild, I reckon, all around here. Because look, there's a valley down there. No signposts. So I'm going back up this way. Once again, might be a mistake. But I want. I didn't want to get away from the beacon. So I'm going back towards the beacon now, after moving away from it for a while. Not for long, a few minutes. The summit said if you carried on down, you come down, I can hear a road for example. But you don't want to actually come out on a road, do you? No, I think uh, that place, um, not Burrington, uh, whatever it's called, beginning with B, is further over. We we'll just keep our fingers crossed, Sheila. I just feel this is going to take me to that junction point. It might not be far enough down. This might be a zigzag all the way. I would have been happier, really, if I'd got onto the beacon, because, because of time. I would have been happier. I've got no idea, really, what I'm doing. <laughs> if you come with me, though, although I got on breathless, although I'm breathless, I, I pack a lot in. I pack a lot in. And I do. Over and out. Over and out. I've managed to get into this valley now after doing quite a lot of zigzagging, which I could have avoided if I'd come down a shortcut, but at the time I wasn't sure whether it would lead me here. So I went the safe route and it went on and on and on. And I reckon I would have ended up either in Elliford or Selworthy again. I needed to get on here where the beacon's going to be. I've done it. I was on a path over there, which I think is going to converge, actually. I could have stayed on it, but never mind. And it's a, a lot of going up at the moment, again. Although I don't have to get on top of the beacon, that's not the plan. There's a sign. There we go, it's a sign. Yeah, because I was right up over there. Bossington Hill, where the camper vans were. And, um... I knew I was on a wild card when I took that decision to go down over there. It turned out a wild card. But only for a little while. I've had to work to get here. I probably need to bother. I don't want to get back to the van too early. Like I said, if you come out with me, you know you've had a walk. Probably not a 20 year old, no. I don't know, they're not all fit. Right. We don't want to go down. But we're over. We're over this side. There we go. Let me put a stone on this pole. It's 
of a Jude. Here we are, Jude. Here we are. Yeah, I didn't know I was going to get down here, see? Well, I'm here now. Look at the views. I can see another pole up the top there. I think that's going to take me around the beacon. I'm not sure. That might not be the beacon, that hill. There might have been another hill. Over and out a minute, I'm breathless. <sighs> 